Hi Thinksters and welcome to this video where I want to show you real quick how the Python print function works and actually the print function has two secret arguments and most coders don't know exactly what are, what are, what are these arguments and this is really surprising because the print function is such a basic piece of uh, information you need to know basically and you, if you want to um, become a Python master coder or even only reach intermediate level in Python. Okay, so the print function is a Python built-in function. It is highlighted by most uh, code editors indicating that it's built-in. You don't need to import any library or anything and you can pass any argument into the print function and uh, the print function will just take this object the uh, object argument and print it. Yeah, so like per default you can call print A and then it will give you the result of the object A. So this is like um, Python everything's object oriented and the objects have a um, like hidden method called uh, dunder uh, underscore underscore string str underscore underscore and this method defines the output of this of the print function okay and there's also another method called dunder wrapper representation and this also defines the output but i mean it's uh, this is just an implementation detail okay and you can pass multiple objects into the print function as well so many coders still know this okay so you can pass multiple arguments and then they are separated by a white space per default but so this is here helpful if you have a list for example yeah say you have a you create a list of, of the two objects a and b and now you can print you can unpack the list objects into the print function with this asterisk operator and now you can print it and you get this exact output okay so you can have a list of values you can print all values and separate them by white space but what if you want to have another separator okay and here the separator argument comes into into play yeah you can you can specify it uh, it is called SEP so and then you specify just a string value that serves as a separator for example you can specify the new line character and now instead of having a, the default one white space character as a as a uh, separator between the objects of your iterable you will have a new line character yeah as a separator and uh, so you can also use more complicated separator like um, xxx python xxx for example and now you see we have the uh, string hello xxx python xxx and world okay so this also works um the separator argument is really powerful if you want to like prettify the output of lists for example often if you want to if you want to print a list with many many arguments like say you you multiply this list times uh, with 100 and now you you use the default uh, print function then it will look somehow uh, cluttered and not not very readable yeah so you don't know where the different list arguments even if you have you could have some strings with white space characters in between and you don't really see what is happening here yeah and um, so the solution is basically let's make this a bit smaller okay so you don't really see what, what is happening here and the solution is to use the separator argument again separator you can use the white space and this will be then uh, printed after each string and now you see exactly where does the string start where does where does it finish so it's very useful for printing iterables and um, Good, and uh, a second argument many don't know is the end argument and the end argument just does what you what you what you would expect it to do it adds one character at the end okay so sometimes you want to have for example uh, you want to indicate that it's really the end of your of this one print statement so you can have a new line and then some minuses or so so I'm, I'm using this all the time in the code and then you see okay now here is here is uh, where the print statement actually ended. Often it's it's difficult if you have if you print different parts of your algorithm in a complicated code base, then you need to like you need to know okay where does this print statement end and where does the next one um, uh, start. Okay, so these two arguments, the separator argument and the end argument, are very very powerful if you want to print iterables or sequences and um, or multiple objects and you want to separate the objects with the separator argument and you want to have one final. Um, um, string that you want to print uh, if you are done with uh, with printing this sequence okay and actually many coders don't know this they print stuff in a for loop or so and i i don't cannot really uh, understand why uh, you have a such powerful tool set tool set uh, at hand it's much more readable it's instead of writing a for loop over all elements in the list print them and then print a separator string manually or so 
it really looks i mean it takes five lines of code or so if you if you want to implement this yourself so just use those two arguments the print function is powerful thanks for listening to this video if you want to increase your practical skills and uh, start earning some money then check out my free webinar with the title how to build your high income skill python where we uh, where i will show you how i implemented my python freelance business online until i reached a point where i could work from home and uh yeah earn, earn a nice living actually and uh yeah build my more scalable businesses like selling books and selling courses and so on so check out the free webinar i'll give a link in the video description below and uh yeah thank you for listening to this video see you soon bye